Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we are doing a square bill crankbait in a fire tiger style. I went ahead and hit it with a scuff pad just kind of bringing down some of them rough edges from the plastic molding and put a little masking tape on the bill of the square bill. Putting it on there and then I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick white base coat before I start painting the colors. It'll make the colors a lot brighter and a lot less transparent. Uh, as you can see here on the masking tape, I kind of drew out my fire tiger stripes and uh, later you'll see I put those on a card. But right here, I'm doing a little chartreuse yellow. That's going to be kind of the mid base for the entire bait. And I'm going to run that from the shoulders all the way down to the belly area. But I'm not really too worried about the top because I'm going quite a bit darker on the top. Now I'm hitting it with a uh, more of a fluorescent green color and I'm doing that from the shoulders down about midway on the bait. Uh, I'm just kind of building up layers here little by little on both sides until I get it the right uh, thickness that I want and the right opacity that I want for the top of the bait. And next we're going to go ahead and do the fluorescent orange. I'm putting the fluorescent orange from the tail section all the way up to under the bill. It's a little wet right there so I hit it with the hair dryer and I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. And then also right above the bill under the mouth where the uh, line tie goes. And now it's coming into play that masking tape you've seen earlier. I just put a piece of masking tape on there and drew the stripes where I wanted them. And then I put them on a card and cut them out with an X-Acto knife. Uh, and then I just kind of put a little tape at the top of the bait just to hold it flat against there because it kind of curves quite a bit. And uh, there's the stripes. So next we got to do the black across the back and we're going to bring that down the shoulders just a little bit and uh, darken up the top and then do a little dark around the eyes. It'll make the color and the uh, brightness of the eyes pop out quite a bit. A little bit of the gel super glue and then I put some pretty cool looking eyes in there. They're kind of a red, yellow and green color and uh, I think they went really good with this bait. Dip it in some of the Alumilite UV clear and then I'm going to hang it up so it can sit and drip and then I'll continuously pull the drips off of this for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then after that it's time to put it into the UV box with the UV lights that'll cure the uh, clear coat and that's it. From that point you can check out the finished product. 